Good day everyone, my name is Abelayo. I want to teach you on how to add control or how to plot control to your plan. So let's start by opening AutoCAD. I'm using AutoCAD 207 and by like this is opening. And while that is opening, I want to open my black copy that is the one I've done before. So I can check it here. Tutorial 1. I've already saved this is the black copy you can see it but there's no connection there so i want to teach on how to actually add connection to it and fit the connection into the perimeter of the plot so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to plot the control i don't have the it's as if i don't have the control yet but i have it with me i will plot it and i will show you step by step on how to do it this video might be a little bit longer but if you stay close to it you will definitely get it so first thing I want to do is I want to go and pick my control coordinate or control parameters. So this is it. This is the coordinate of pillar one, this one, and this is the coordinates that are not bearing and distance. This is coordinate of the control pillar, this is control pillar one. So I want to, I want to plot, plot the, co the coordinates now. I want to split my screen to two yeah, so that I can be pressing the coordinate and at the same time looking at what I'm doing. So I'm going to pick polyline. This is polyline. After picking polyline, I'm going to enter the coordinate of the control point, this one. So which is 732819.420. Then comma 809534.420. Enter. So that this is the coordinate of my control points. So next thing I want to plot now. I want to plot the the three control the three points as 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 my reference. So as you can see here, you can see the bearing and distance there. So I want to first plot the, this bearing. That, that that's that will be the back bearing. That will be my initial bearing. So it, it's going to be at fifty five point. 0 0.09 meters then shift less than 331 degree 14 minutes you can see then i'm going to escape it again and click on line again then i'll come back to this point which is my control point exactly so i'm going to plot the second this second point to that forms my that form the basis of my of my control to this plot so the distance is at as usual 101.79 meters then 63 degree in 17 minutes you can see that so from here again i want to plot my control i want to plot my connection now to this plot notice that when i when i was plotting this one when i was plotting this control the, this 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 plot i make sure everything is georeferenced that is the coordinate of this point if you can if you can check it if you can see this moving on the left side here you can see the coordinates is very close to it or is actually the coordinate there you can see that that's what that's what i did make sure that you don't shift your plan anyhow so that when you are doing your work your work can be very okay so i'm going to plot the, the coordinates now so you can see from here that these two heads 002 meters then we are then let's start sorry for speaking that at two two zero hits point zero zero two meters then one sixty six degree fifteen minutes then the next you can see it falls directly on the on the plot on the on the on the first control point that shows that my work is actually correct that i did a very good job on site so i want to plot this one too i might plot it and or i might not plot it but with this you can see that we can actually plot it but you don't have to plot it just shift it to the second line like this the second point that is the last point you can see that this is the first point on this of this plan and as it goes like this like this then this is the fourth point that's the last one so i'm going to click on it again then i'm going to continue with my 
Pay and distance. This 18.205.273.53 should be the, the, the bearing and distance for this line. But I've already, I've already drawn it using my just not using normal line because the, the point are already existing. So I'll just do 203.229. So at now, at 203.229 meters, then it should lift down 351 degree. Then zero feet minutes. Then enter. I can, as you can see now, I have plot my my plan now. So the next thing I want to do now is that I want to check the distance, the error it gives me here. If the error is still permissible, then I will just continue with this. Then I, will, I can just pick line and check the distance between here and here. So from here, I can see the distance is 0 0.034, which is very, very minimal. Minimal. That is in millimeters. That is in centimeters. So it's still very okay. So I can just use, I just drag it and drop it here. So it's allowed because of the the error it gives me, because the error is very, very minimal. So what, am I, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to copy this. This, this what I upload now, I'm going to copy it. I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to copy it out. Copy. I'm going to paste it personally the way i do is i can paste in like three places paste that's paste you can still copy it again and still paste on where else so i want to do it that this this thing i've done with fitting can fit in sorry can fit in into this this small box that's what we call scaling and that's the most important thing in control extension when you are plotting control control for that is for the for, for the record copies that, you, that that is sent to the ministry. So the thing that will be first done that will, that will be done now is that we are going to know the scale of this work of this one. Looking at this, I know this is scale one in five hundred. Though I didn't write it there, but it's scale one in five hundred. So this one now, I don't know the scale I'm going to put. It. So how am I going to do this? I'm going to scale this. There is scale icon here. Which is this scale? So if I click on the scale now, and I and press the, it, it, you can see here that it said I should specify the base point. On clicking the base point, I should not press. I should not click anything. I should be very careful with what. So I what press. I'm going to do is that on my notepad here, I want to show you something. I said the scale is one in five hundred. The scale of what I'm doing of this main plot is one in 500 so what i want to do now i want to scale this so that it will fit in this one in 500 so as i want to scale this down i'll be multiplying the factor i scale this down with by the 500 example so how i'm going to do is that after highlighting this come on scale here click on scale then specify center or somewhere on the scale then if i should it is one like that so if i should put it in 0 0.5 that means i will multiply this by two because zero divided by two i mean divided this by two one by two that's 0 0.5 then i will multiply 500 by two if i divide one by 10 which will give me 0 0.1 then i will multiply this this 500 by 10 which means which you turn the scale to one five thousand so i'm going to do a 0 0.5 sorry by 0 0.2 which is which which is one over five so that means so I can see after I specify the base point, it told me that specify scale factor. So I'm going to pick here, yeah, I'm going to pick 0 0.2. So enter. You can see it has reduced the scale. It has reduced the, the connection. So then I'm going to multiply this by 5. Multiply by 5. 5, which is going to give me 2500. That's so if this if this plan, if this connection fits into this, then I'm going to use scale one. Why in 2500? You get the logic that the scale of everything here now is of this connection is one. So if I should divide this this scale by any factor, maybe by one, by two, by three, by four, by five, then I will multiply the the scale I I plot this with by the factor I used to divide one. So that we I did I used 0 0.2. That is one over five gives 0 0.2. So that's why I'm multiplying this. This 500 by 5 has given me 1 to 500. So as I highlight it like this, I'm going to move it 
you can see it has fit in the the plan assuming like this it cannot fit in the plan as it is like it cannot fit in the plan so that's the essence of scaling so now that i've scaled it i cannot use the quad the, the coordinate and the bearing and distance here to plot it i have to use the bearing and distance that i have with me before before i scaled it or that's why i didn't cut this one that's why i copied from here so i can still check the bearing and distance of this point to fill it to fill it in so i'm going to pause the video now and quickly fill in the bearing distance and let you, then you will see how it looks like So now you can see that I have input all the bearing and distance of the connections from the control lines. On the, this is, this will be the initial bearing. Now you can see that I'm putting the back bearing for this. Which is back bearing plus the observer angle will be the forward bearing of this of this particular line. So I'm going to hard to hit here initial bearing that is open bracket I dot B. These are the specialties in see that special features in control in record copies so then this one will be power region now i'm going to have p o to hit from bracket p dot o but different states has their own they have their own peculiarity and they have what they want but generally it should be like this throughout this country that is nigeria so the next thing now is that i want to change the colors and I want to hack it now. This controls as it is like this. You can see that they meet at the same point, and it's very hard to actually place this test on it and make it stand very well. So what I'm going to do is that we are going to normally hack it. Hack by, by picking hack here, picking hack, pick this end point of here, pick somewhere around the middle here. You can hold, you can hold your horse now for the meantime, then hold it back, then click on the end point. Then do the same thing here again. The mid to, to this side. This shapes now. This shape now. We cannot delete this to this original line there. That it doesn't matter that um, we are using curve. This is actually one of the one of the things they, they recommend in in Socon and every other thing they do. So as it is like this, you can just put this where it's supposed to be. And not don't forget that the mid the 166 degree 28 minute 28 208 meters the meters will be inside the this arc sorry inside this ellipse to not be outside that's the that's one of the one of the conventions so i'm going to x control hex that is cut it then i'm going to put it in inside then like this by putting it like this you can see it is inside like this i can just place it as I want you can see now then this one to the same thing let me put it inside this outside control X don't show me this message again paste you can see now so it looks it's getting closer to what we normally know and now this line which is the part that connects to this main plot we are going to put it in red color and come to by layer then make it red you can see now then this is the bearing and distance too now you can see that from here the bearing and distance is 93 and now we are using 273 which is the back bearing because the connection is coming like this and instead of going like this we now cut it like this which this is the we call this this line calculated distance so as i'm now i will now come here now call it C A L and dot like this and close it then a sub here we know that this is calculated distance for this point that is this this line was not measured but it was calculated it was computed so since this test cannot contain here so I can just bring a line out from here and just say I just put it like this so that we should we show that this that the test here belongs to the let me make it 90 degree 90 degree so you can see now shows that so i'm going to add this one too in red
it's not showing just let me I'll come back here and change it to red there it will work i see now oh, red okay yes this is right now then every other thing all the lines and the behind and distance will be in blue will be in blue so come here put it in blue men looking at it you can see that this is resembling the normal record copy that you normally see now one of the most important thing that we have to put there don't forget to put the pillars there i just copy this one copy and paste then paste it somewhere around here then i like it again then find the middle just use co then find it i can i will hold my host map co then put it here put it here since this point is a, they are they are pillars i'm just not writing the the, 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 the pillar height there so those are the pillars then i will i will put it here too put it here put it here put it here so then i will delete this then one of the most important thing you need to put here is that you need to put the key plan scale here so that anybody that handle this uh, that, uh, that see this this plan now this now is a, is a record copy now anybody that sees it we know that we know the scale that used to plot this because you can see that this is two whole heads and as as short as this looks like and this is 35 so it's not making sense by putting the key plan scale and then they can use scale or any other means to actually scale this and know that okay this is actually correct so the scale that we use like i said the other time is one in 2500 so i'm just I'm just going to come to test here draw it and put key plan scale key plan scale to be one in two five zero zero then align all it i will use the test which is times new roman times new roman let me use 1.2 height 1.2 and i want to let it be between and center I want to bold it and I want to underline it. I might even want to make it. It's just as you wish. It's as, it's as your preference. This one, this one does not have like any preferred something. Just design it as you want. But as you are designing as a surveyor or as a land officer, you must know that design is not actually the most important thing. Which is accuracy is the most important thing in what we are doing. So as you can see, what you just need to do here is just now delete this one you first draw and delete it so that. You have your whole plan with you then you can see that it's tilted everything is on one side now if you want to move it you don't you don't move this you won't move this plan like i said the other time the only thing you can move is actually this one and this box so by doing that proceed so if I, want, and if I want to move this box too i'll make sure i'm not moving this so I want to move the box so that it will be in this, everything will be in the center. So I'm going to move it. So if I should move this now, then I can move this from here to here back. Then this one, I can just extend this one. E X. Then this one, I can just move this one. To where it's supposed to be, which is here, then this one also I can just make it come down. So this is how you do your control, your your record copy for for for, for plan and for 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 registration at at the ministry for document at the ministry. If you have any complaint or if you think it's not clear enough, please let me know in the comment section or you can actually message me. I will provide my my details. Thank you very much. My name is Tirimina Bola Dolawi.